Hi, my name is Emma Katirai, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create GIFs using Canva. I'm going to show you how to create four different styles of GIFs. And the first one that I'm going to show you is just a simple design where you can add animation or use stickers uh, in Canva and download as a GIF. So to get started, I'm just going to choose this logo design. You can use whichever size works best for you. It doesn't have to be a square. Um, and at this point, you can start adding elements. Like if you have a logo, you can add it here. If you want to add text, um, I'm just going to use this design here just to save us some time. And I'm just going to stretch it out to take up more room. And now what I'm going to do is basically add animation. So if you click on this page, you can see this option animates. And there are a lot of different options to choose. And because I've clicked the entire page, it's going to animate every element on this page. If you just wanted to animate the rainbow, for instance, you would just click animate directly on that element. But I'm just going to animate the whole page. So I'm going to use the sleek option here. That works well. The other thing you have to keep in mind is this length of time. So the longer the animation, the longer the length of time, the larger the file size also. So I'm just going to reduce this to three. So three seconds. And at this point, you can download it. OK, so what you would do is just click Share, Download, select GIF, and download that. The other thing that you can do in Canva is use stickers instead of adding animation to elements. So I'm just going to add a page here. So if you go to Elements, there are a lot of stickers here under this option. OK, so different categories. You can choose what works for you, So, like this one. And then we can add some, you know, decorative elements to it. So something, you know, like this. You can do something like that and find like another one, shrink it a little bit, flip it around. So you can do something like this as well and just click share. Again, download, go to GIF and download this page. Okay, so the animation comes from the element itself. You don't have to add it. This is the first type of GIF and the simplest type of GIF that you can create in Canva. Okay, so the next type of GIF that I'm going to show you um, is if you want a transparent background. So this first style that I talked about that we just created, it's going to have a white background or if I, you know, kept that pink background that it had originally, it was going to download with that background. So it has the entire square is going to be white. If you wanted to create something that has a transparent background because you want to use it as a sticker, like on Instagram stories, you just want to create branded stickers um, for your business. Basically, what you have to do is create different images that kind of change from one to the other. So let's say your logo comes in two colors. So you would create one image with one color the next image and then a different color. And then we're going to use a tool called Easy GIF. And it's going to string those together and create it. So uh, I'm just going to show you. So I'm just going to duplicate this first page about four times. OK, so the first one is going to be the original. The second, I'm just going to remove the star. The third one, I'm going to remove the star. And now I'm going to change the color of the rainbow. I'm going to alternate those colors. And then the fourth one, I'm just going to remove the rainbow entirely. So you can play around with what works best for you. You could add the star again if you wanted to kind of make it blink um, a little bit more. And now you're going to download, but you're going to download it as a PNG with a transparent background. OK, that's the important thing. Once you've downloaded your file, you're going to come to this site, easygif.com maker, and you're going to add your files over here. Once you've added them, you're just going to click Upload and Make a GIF. And I'm just going to click Make a GIF down here. I just want to show you what this is like. So you can see that the star isn't fading completely. So you need to check this option if that's what's happening to you. So it removes each frame from the next, OK? So if I click that, now it's a cleaner. It looks, it looks better, right? Um, you can also change the speed by changing the delay time. So the smaller the number, the faster the animation. So if I make it 50, you can see that it's moving a little bit slower. So you can play around with these options to find what works best for you. And once you're happy with the result, you're just going to download it. And the file that you download, 
Let me open it up. This is your GIF. So you can save this to your phone and add it to things like Instagram stories so that you have branded GIFs that, you know, match, that have your logo, your secondary logo, any other brand element that you want to add to your GIF. So the third type of GIF that I'm going to show you involves uh, using photos. So let's say you've done a photo shoot, you have different poses of yourself in the same outfit. You can string those together to create a GIF. And that's kind of like a fun element that you can add to things in your proposal on your website. It's, it looks great. So I didn't have photos that worked, so I found some photos on Canva. Um, they're not at the exact same angle, so it's going to be a little bit trickier. If the photos were all zoomed in about the same, it would look, it would be a lot easier to do this. So I'm just going to have to play around a bit. So I'm going to start with this first image. So you can see that this one's farther away. So I'm just going to have to pull it in a little bit. It's not going to be perfect and it's, it's still going to look good. So don't worry. So they're not exactly the same, right? Like I probably should zoom this one in a bit more. Maybe like that. Oh, the last thing I need to tell you is um, I have each page as one second, okay? Because I didn't want this to drag out too long. I think the default in Canva is about five seconds per page. So you want to change this animation. So if I just click in the background here, I can change this and apply it to all the pages, okay? So I have it at one second. You can play around and find the timing that works best for you. So just click share, download, select all pages, right? And click download. So what that's gonna do is take all the pages in this file and string them together into one GIF. So this is the end result. So you can see it's not perfect. <laughs> if I would taken a little bit more time to maybe try to line up those uh, shots, but if you're doing a photo shoot and this is something that you know, you'd like to have, try to stay kind of in the same pose at about you know, at the same distance from the camera and just, you know, make some different, you know, facial expressions or movements, and then you can string them together really nicely in a GIF. The other thing is if you wanted to remove the background and use like a brand color as your background, you can definitely do that. Basically just go to edit photo and hit background remover, and then you can basically add a color to your background. So you could do something like that just in case that's something you wanted to do. You don't want to keep the same background you have in your photo shoot. You can definitely do that. Add a brand color as a background or a pop of color in the background and you're good to go. The last thing I want to show you is how to use a video, how to turn a video into a GIF. So I'm thinking of a very specific application, but you can you know, use this in other places as well. Maybe you just want to turn a small snippet of a video into a GIF um, and with no sound, this is how you would do that. I'm thinking specifically of Dubsado forms. You know, as a Dubsado specialist, I design forms for my clients and you cannot add MP4 video files, you know, as a background like you do in a website. So creating uh, GIFs, so turning videos into GIFs is a great way of adding some movement or elements that look like a video without actually adding video. So this is a very specific file size. You can, again, do this with a square, um, you know, a story, wh whatever you want. Um, I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to fit this into the background of a form. So you snap a grid. So let me go back. Basically, you would just come down here, find a grid that's going to take up the entire space of your design. And then in elements, you're going to find videos, right? So I had already searched for leaves, like something that would match the design that I'm creating. So I'm just going to snap this video into place and you can, you know, move this around. Um, the important thing when it comes to videos is file size, right? So you cannot use these 23 seconds because you're going to end up with a massive file size. It's just not going to work. So you're going to have to shrink this down to about two or three seconds. I'm just going to say two and a half seconds. Um, and basically that's it, okay? You don't really have to do anything. The animation is in the vid video. Um, you're just gonna click share, again, download, go to GIF. You can play with the file size here and make it smaller. Um, GIFs in general, when you're turning videos into GIFs, they're gonna look a little grainy. Um, I think we also saw that with the photos um, that I used in the last example. So you're just gonna click download. So this is the end result. This is super simple. 
And in another video, I'm going to show you how to use all of these inside of Dubsado. But basically, this is how you can create GIFs uh, in different ways using Canva for your business. So I'll see you next time.